equation 5 it says um, in a vessel that consists of two vertical portions of unequal cross sections some water is trapped between two air tight light pistons that can slide without friction the vessel is placed on two fixed supports and b the upper piston is suspended from the ceiling with the help of a spring of constant k and a hook is attached to the lower piston area of the upper and the lower sections are s1 and s2 respectively distance between the pistons is h density of the liquid is or water is rho acceleration due to gravity is g so these are the terms in which we need to express our answer the question is find x uh, find change in extension of the spring after a block of mass m is suspended from the hook so this is vessel which is having a different cross sections s1 upside s2 downside and liquid water is filled over here this piston these two pistons are massless and this upper one has been connected with a spring and this lower is hanging and this a b are support on which this has been placed initially the the gap between these two pistons is h now this is the block arm which we want to hang on this hook once we do this then you will find there is going to be some disturbances coming in and uh, again the system to be in equilibrium the air spring should go by some more extension what is that extension that we need to find out okay so first we need to handle this problem initially what happens initially because everything was at equilibrium so initial equilibrium equations then we will go for finally and then we will assemble the two together now here the FBDs are drawn so this is the upper piston this is the lower piston this is the gap there's a water in between if we draw this free body diagram of this upper piston then you'll find atmospheric pressure into the cross section will be acting downward and the pressure just uh, below this piston and cross section of the same piston is going to be acting upward so uh, and there will be a spring force now one thing need to be decided is spring force will be acting upside or downside that means the spring will have elongation or completion that will be that will be the first point to decide how to think about it let's go downside once we go downside so we need to draw the bd of the, this piston lower one this is massless so there's no mass so uh, this will be at equilibrium only if the pressure from from upside the pressure force from the downside has to be equal right now downside pressure force is dependent on p naught so that means upside pressure must be p naught if this is p naught that means when we go upside the pressure decreases that means upper pressure should be less than p naught that means this p must be less than p naught and that means this force is smaller this force is larger and it has to be in equilibrium that means the spring force must be upward direction and if a spring force is in upward direction that means the spring must be elongated so initial elongation i'm considering as x naught so this becomes the ability of the upper piston initially and it will give us equation like uh, kx naught plus ps1 minus p naught s1 must be equal to zero now come to the lower piston p naught uh, s2 will be upside and the pressure if it is p we are coming downside by h so it becomes p plus rho gh into the cross-sectional area the total pressure right cross-sectional area is getting cancelled out so we can write p naught must be equal to p plus rho gh now using these two equations we, uh, we we can simplify them right so for for that sake what we need to do is this divide by this equation uh, by s1 if we divide this equation by s1 then it will be like p minus p naught and then add them with the second so p naught will get cancelled out p will get cancelled out and we will find that kx naught by s1 must be equal to rho gh so kx naught by s1 must be equal to rho gh so that's the one equation from the initial equilibrium now let's say uh, we are talking about the final condition so there is a final equilib uh, equilibrium condition so again we need to have a force balance on this piston as well as on this piston let's consider this piston came downward by x amount so that the spring further go uh, extended by x amount that is the quantity we need to look at or uh, we need to work for right so x is going to be our answer now if it goes x down so this force now will become k x naught plus x upward and it will remain p naught s1 and the pressure now will change of the liquid so that's less p days s1 now let's uh, consider the gap now become h dash so this piston will be now uh, having force balance now when we are doing the force balance new force is coming this new force is mg which is going to act downward because we have hanged this mass m 
and this P0 S2 will be acting upward and the pressure upside will become P dash plus rho G H dash S2. So let's write equation. Pardon. For this upper block, we can say um, like K X0 plus X plus P dash S1 minus P0 S1 must be equal to zero like this. Then we can divide by S1. So we will find it like K X0 plus X divided by S1 must be equal to P0 minus P prime. So that's one equation from the upper one. Now come to the lower one. In this lower one, we will find this, uh, these pressure forces are, uh, then this gravity forces are balanced. So we can divide again by S2. So it will be like um, P0 minus this number. So P0 minus P prime minus OGH prime must be equal to mg by S2. Now using these two equations, we can simplify them, right? So we again uh, want to um, get rid of, let's say, uh, P0 so uh, and p prime so we can subtract the two so when we subtract so you will find this cancelled out this cancelled out this becomes positive so becomes k x naught plus x divided by s1 must be equal to rho gh prime this term also comes here that becomes mg by s2 so that becomes the second equation now in the second equation we have this h prime to handle since we need to find x so x can be calculated once we know this h prime right now you uh, you can think of like this piston if this upper piston came uh, came down by x so lower piston will also come down by some amount let's say that's x prime and then you'll find whatever the volume of the liquid uh, was initially the same volume will remain there so initial volume if you find uh, that is going to be equal to uh, we can add as a two components or otherwise we can say uh, whatever the volume it come gone downside the same amount of volume should have increased there that will be a good way to say now if it goes by x downside x1 was the cross section that means s x1 uh, x s1 this was the volume that uh, this upper piston go came downward and this is cross section S2 and it came by X prime. So S2 X prime, this will be the volume increasing there. So these two must be identical. So decrease in the volume from offside must be equal to the increase in the volume from the downside. So basically we are doing the volume conservation. Moreover, you'll find uh, if we have brought it by X downside and it is X prime downside. So effectively X prime minus X height has gone up. So the new height must be equal to the old height plus x prime minus x. So this is another equation that connects this x prime and h prime. Now what we can do, we can put the value of uh, h prime over here. But before that, we can settle this as x prime. x prime is going to be x1 x, s1 x minus s2. So uh, this could be written as h prime minus h is equal to x dash minus x, where x dash is um, s1 x by x2 s2 and there's x now you can take this x outside so it becomes s1 minus s2 divided by s2 so this is h prime minus h now here we are having h prime so what we can do we can subtract these two equations first so when we subtract these two equations so this is rho g will be common h prime minus h will be appearing there so out of two one has to be subtracted Moreover, if you are doing this, then you'll find kx0 by s1 will get cancelled out. So from the left hand side, you'll find kx by s1, kx by s1. And on the right hand side, you'll have mg by s2 plus rho g h prime minus h. You can catch these equations, right? And then h prime minus h, we have simplified it. So it will become mg by s2 plus rho g s1 minus s2 by s2 into x. Now in this equation, everything else is known except x. So x can be calculated. For that sake, we can bring this term to this side and take x outside. So it will be k by s1 minus rho g s1 minus s2 divided by s2 must be equal to mg divided by s2. So x came out to be, and now you can simplify by cross multiplying things. So it will be like s1 coming here, s2 coming here, then downside s1 and s2, s2 getting cancelled out. So only s1 will remaining. So it will be like mg s1 upside divided by k times x s2 minus rho g s1 minus s2 in a bracket into s1 so this is the final expression for the x or this change in the extension on the spring that is x which the equation is demanding for so this will become our final and correct response thank you